Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Uh, hello again everyone, welcome back. We're at the very start of our fifth week here on season three. If it seems like I missed a day, that's probably because I genuinely missed a day in real life too. What I mean by that is I slept for the past, like, I slept for 22 hours, so... Okay, real quick, I'm gonna pause this timer. There's something wrong with my mouse, it's not moving at the right DPI. There we go. I don't know what it was. I was just going super slow and it was uh, throwing me off a little. Yeah, I slept for like a day basically, so if it feels like I missed a day, that's why. I haven't actually. This is like my first priority. Have I put it too high now? I feel like I've put it too high now. I'll try and do it without pausing again. Okay, that'll have to do. I don't know why it just resets sometimes. When I did get up today, I opened my laptop up and both of my screens were just like white. Like the last windows I had I could see, but there was nothing behind them, there was no desktop, there was no task bar at the bottom even. It was just all white. It was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced with my laptop. Okay, bird house is done. It's too hot in here now. Fucking all over the place. Oh my gosh. The fuck? My mouse isn't working now. Oh my gosh. For fuck's sake, man. When will things stop going wrong? absolutely no idea what's going on now it's super fast okay i've had to pause this time like five times now i think i fixed my dpi i can hear my heat's been turned down the mouse works currently fingers crossed that i don't have to pause it again this has been the messy start to a video i've ever had i probably did still lose some time off there but oh, i went the wrong way what a noob where are you going, bro? Could probably do it topping up on ultra compost. Looking at that. Today, anyway, I had so much trouble there that I didn't really say what the plan today was. I mean, if you watched yesterday's episode, you'll probably know anyway, but we have almost finished the King's Ransom quest. And after that, we're going to be going to the Night's Wave training grounds and trying to get through all of that shit. Which might be a bit tough, I'm not sure really. I'm just going to have to go and see how we do. But yeah, all being well, we'll get that done today. We will unlock chivalry for ourselves and piety for future us when we do get to 70 defense. Both very nice upgrades to have. And don't really have a plan after that because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. No, that's my first Renard that's died in so long. Oh, can we get some Fs in chat for the Renard seed? It's a good job I got one for free out of the bird nest yesterday. It sort of makes up for it, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how long the Night's Wave ground's gonna take us, so I haven't really made a plan for afterwards. If we have a decent bit of time left, maybe we go back to Nagua and just chill for a bit. We'll see what the clock looks like when we get there. Oh, nature runes, nature runes, don't forget the nature runes, nature runes, nature runes, don't forget the nature runes. What's the price for an ours, actually? 27.8k. It's not pretty. I think I need to put an offer in for at least five more. Okay, we're gonna go to the GE. No, we're going to go to Varrock, get our battle staffs. Then we're going to go to the GE. Slap all them up, slap all them up. And birds' nests also. I forgot we had that hard clue as well. I guess that's something we can do if we have just a little bit of time left at the end. Okay. Let me get some nature runes and some Renar seeds. Just five of them because they're super expensive. And we have one already. But I will put an offer in for some at like 26k, because I'm happy with that if they buy. Damn, they're super cheap at the minute and they're not selling. That sucks. I might need to look at all the potential herb law options. Okay, let's get everything we need for this quest. Go reset. Oh, I need the Holy Grail. Why didn't it say it there? 
It's a good job I didn't drop it, isn't it? I feel like I'm moving so slow today. My body's still, like, readjusting. I probably shouldn't have stayed in bed for 22 hours. The logic was that I felt good the last time I was awake, and I'd had a long sleep beforehand. So I thought I'd just have an extra long sleep and then I'd feel super good. But I'm just a bit lethargic now. Still sort of coming around. I'm not an intruder, I'm wearing your armour, bro. Like, chill the fuck out, what are you doing? Do I have to be in this? Gosh, that was so weird. Oh, I have to go to Camelot now. Fuck! Didn't bring the teleports, cause I'm a fucking idiot. And there we go. King's Ransom is now finished. We get to choose a stat to be advanced. Uh, oh, that's actually a tough choice. I think I'm just gonna go whack it on strength. It's only a couple K, 5K, all right, not bad. Right, we're gonna go to the GE now because I wanna buy a couple things to prepare for this fight. Not too much, mind. I think we're pretty good anyway. We're not gonna want this shit for now, so we'll get rid of that. Can't get a miss for some reason. Come on, somebody saw me a miss. Okay, now. Alright, I actually need it up to so I can see which one's which. Alright, I think this is what I'm going with, folks. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but we're gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna put all my weapons onto strength now as well. That will be the next start I'm training. Do we have to talk to my man first? Can I just go straight in? Okay, here we go. Don't think I need to spec the first one. We're, we're on slash up till the fourth one. Probably just do one spec each after this. I mean, so far so good. We're gonna have loads of time left, aren't we? I'm talking about. Should have definitely made more of a plan. There's 61 strength coming in. Look at us already making strides. This one's definitely going rougher. How many is there? Oh, I should have been potting every time. I didn't realize there were only eight. Is this one crush? Crush or slash. Seven is the next one we want to be on crush for. These are actually better than a dragon mace on its own. If we had a defender, this would probably be better, but without the defender, these are generally the preferred style. I think that's the nice thing about these weapons, is I would have never really thought there was a gap in which you don't want to be using a D-SIM, but if you don't have a defender, these are actually a pretty decent option. So I guess for accounts that haven't got the level for combined level to get in the Champions Guild yet, or they haven't just done the grind yet, Sulfur Blades are a pretty good alternative. Super cheap as well if you're a man. Got two more after this. Probably gonna go crack the hardcore out while I think about what to do. Oh, this one's Crush. Holy. It's pretty hard too. Can you stop to me, please? Uh, I'm probably gonna die here. That's okay, we can come back with a full invent. All right, last one. I am probably gonna let myself die at the end of this, just cause it'll recharge my spec. So if I gotta kill him, I'll just die and recharge my spec, basically. I think he's gonna get us so close. Oh, I respawned straight outside. Word, I don't even have to go get my gear or anything. I didn't realize that. Oh, it didn't recharge my spec because it wasn't a proper death. Fuck! I can't even recharge at Ferox, that doesn't work. You need the, the, the house full. Well, let's have another go. Bro, quit slapping me. Oh, he's poisoned too. This remedy doesn't tick nearly often enough. And there he is! Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful XP drop. We got defense level and a hit points level there. You'd love to see it. Okay, for almost to an attack level as well, actually. To be fair, I may just finish that attack level off so that we get the extra bonuses of 61 attack before continuing my strength training. Okay, that was a nice one. We got some decent stuff done. I am going to nip to a reset, of course. And then I'm going to make my way to the clue, I think, which is on Corundor and requires that Dragon Dagger once again. Mini Combat Potion, got Wanders. Just going to go straight to Karamja here. Forgot the fucking darts. I brought the Alks, not the darts. I always miss one thing, right? I still got like half the day as well. Guess the only thing really to do is just keep melee training. I just don't know if it's worth going back to Perilous Moons for like a half hour. Probably is. Apparently that was a medium task. Oh my god, I should be using the Chivalry now. 
Okay, I should have brought food or something. It's the dumbest thing. I mean, to be fair, I've poisoned him. I could just wait for him to die. It's just not ideal, is it? Okay, this is forcing him to mage make as his attack starts before I run around, so let's go. Strange old man at Barrows. So I guess we just teleport to LMS. Not LMS, that's where we are. <laughs> Fuck. Shades of Morton. Oh, I didn't bring a jeweling ring. All the elks still. <laughs> Oh, I could do some random agility training. We do need to get to work on that eventually. I don't even know where the best place to train agility is for me at the minute. They changed it all recently, didn't they? Falador, apparently. Should we do some Falador laps? I don't know if I could be asked to go and fucking do 20 minutes at Nagua. Like, I'm really tired right now. Even though I spent 22 hours in bed, which makes no sense, but... Oh, that is a bitch of a step, but I've got nothing better to do. And it is an agility activity, so... <laughs> a heraldic shield. I don't know which the cheapest is. That one's all right, that'll do. There's a double agent at the top, but that's fine. We don't have any combat potions. Just get some the cheap. Okay, got that shit. We want our darts, and then we need a good way to get there. Uh, how much is it now to teleport? It's probably expensive as hell, isn't it? Not worth it. The LQ's miles away. Oh, I think I've just got to commit. I do have my staff on Lockhart. Didn't bring any desert heat protection. Might just grab a water skin from the Nada Bank column here. I feel like these is a task. I don't know if I've already done it or not, but okay, I must have. <laughs> I thought it was worth well just stabbing one on the way past. All right, fingers crossed we don't have an abysmal experience. I feel like we've done this before on this account, but I can't remember why. I feel like I got to the top and then fucked it up and had to do it again or something. Fucking hell, it's busy here. What's going on? Like five people were in the agility pyramid. Is this because of the Gilmore Games episode yesterday? Everyone's come here? I don't even know what day it is, I've just realised. Is it Monday or Tuesday? Uh, well, it is Tuesday technically, but it's 5 a.m., so it's basically Monday, and there's our first failure. Lovely stuff. Well, I did say we might do some agility training. Perhaps not what I intended, but I suppose we could do Brimhaven agility as well, right? I don't know what level you actually have to be, but. It's decent now, I think. I have a feeling I'm going to be disappointed at the end of this clue just because it's taken us a bit longer than other ones have. I feel like it's going to be that, oh, why did you waste your time feeling? I don't know, maybe we, maybe this is the time we get like a big whammy. Get some blessed eyed boots or something. Certainly be a nice cast infusion. There's 52 agility coming in. I'm genuinely, I've never seen this place so busy. I'm just assuming it's because Boaty went there on GG. The only thing I can think of, because I'm on a random ass world as well. 477 is the amount of people on this world. Like, the fact that there's so many of them are here when there's only that many. I mean, they're probably all bots, right? But I've still never seen it this busy. I've got another clue. Okay, I'm gonna actually climb up and get it this time. Oh no, that must have been the first time we've done it on this account. Must have been a different series when I'd fucked up or something. Alright, we'll go turn that in. Do I actually have to talk to him and shit first? Cool. What's the clue? Lumbia, northeast of Varrock. Probably should have reset, but I don't have a jeweling ring on me. This has got to be disappointing now. This has been such a long clue, there's no way it's not disappointing. I think this has to be the last one, right? Oh no, there could be another. Six steps. Brimhaven Agility Arena, what were we just talking about there? Unfortunately, my minigame teleports down. In fact, I don't even know if there is one for Brim. There isn't, but we can get there easily enough. We just teleport Hardy. I think I needed a day off the training, to be honest. The melee training, I just... I've been there so much recently, and like, I'll in between every attack. It's a lot, so... I just needed a day to do some more chill stuff, and if that's chasing a clue around, so be it. This has got to be the last step now though, so fingers crossed we get something decent in the casket and it makes it all worth our time. Here we go! 90k. Uh, yeah. No. Well, that's 40k for the unholy blessing. That's actually decent. So that was probably the only blessing that's worth anything, with it being the Zami one. We can sell back the stuff that we bought, of course, for the clue step. Not, not terrible, not terrible clue, but not amazing either for the amount of time we spent. I think what I'm just going to do until it's time for the birdhouse run is go do some Falador laps. I think that seems relatively chill way to spend our time at the end of the day here. Right. Been a while since I've done this course. 
I believe it was improved, same as all the others, so... I think the correct thing to do at the minute with agility is just to do whichever the highest level course you have, because the wiki just hasn't, like, caught up to all the balancing changes yet, and it's impossible to tell what is actually the most efficient until more data is gathered from people playing it. So in my head, at least, it's okay, they said they made the other courses better, so you don't spend all your time at one specific course. That must mean go to all the courses, especially if you don't have bonuses like the uh, Candorin Diary to think about. Apparently we're getting about 15k an hour here. Wow, the agility fucking sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I suppose that might not be accurate though, because we were doing agility at the pyramid before, so that might have, like, swayed what our current rates are. Kind of curious if we can get a level knocks out. I mean, it saved 38 minutes, but I don't think the rate's accurate at all. If we need 18 laps to get there, like, 10 minutes? I feel like that's... I mean, they are long laps, to be fair, but I still feel like it should be doable. I suppose we've only got, like, eight, seven or eight minutes before birdhouses, but... I guess it's taken me, like, one minute per lap, so... Yeah, we don't have time to get the level. It's a shame. Well, the Apatol course is actually pretty decent now. Oh, I completely forgot about the wilderness course as well, yeah. We are actually on level for that. Maybe the wildy course would be the best place to go, because it's, it's been long enough since the update that it should have quieted down a bit right now, and, like, ultimately, who cares if we get PK'd, because we're just out there in whatever garbage, you know, fucking boots of lightness. Like, who's going to kill a guy here with boots of lightness? And a spotty cape, and that's it. Even if they do whatever. Pretty quick to get there. Lassar teleport? I think that's Lassar. And who knows, maybe we even get some decent loot from the tickets. I'm not sure if it's XP or loot, or if you get both. I'll have to check, obviously. But that might be a good way to actually train our agility. Obviously not right now, I'm too close to the end of the day, it's not worth it. But future reference, definitely something for me to look up, because... I've got the combat plans figured out now, you know, we're gonna be working on our attack and strength for a little while while we alk up our magic. Once our magic gets to 70, we're gonna be doing more bursting with ice burst to train that even further and also to train our defense up again a little bit more through that because we've got a long way to go still with defense. But yeah, I don't want to do more melee defense training at the minute until I've got my, my strength and attack up. Now that we've done the night waves, there's really no point in getting our defense higher. I mean, the point is you unlock piety at 70, and piety is 3 to 5% better, I can't remember, than chivalry in terms of DPS, but you get more DPS by strength going up than that. Do Max of Grace have any use to me? It's like I'm never going to get enough for Graceful, I don't think. Do I just turn them into Amylase packs and then sell them? Like, I could get individual pieces of Graceful, but is it really worth it? Or having to slap it on every time takes like a minute. Well, no, it takes like a couple of seconds if it's one piece, but... Like, how many times am I going to forget, completely forget it's there and just waste that value? I feel like just chucking on Amylase pack is probably worth more. I think I'll probably just finish this lap and then go over to the birdhouses. That's also about halfway to 53, so not terrible, but yeah, the XP rate here is not great. It's like 21k, maybe 22k. Time for some burbs. Leo? We don't have time for a Leo. This isn't chess locked. What the fuck? I swear to God, I've never had a dunce. We've had the one genie that we could take. Never had a dunce. Did just get a hunter level there though, 64. But we can catch carnivorous chinchompers now. If we ever do Eagle's Peak, which we never will. Bang in. Bit of money back. Yeah, those Renars still just Oh, those are the offer I put in for cheap, but those are those should have gone. That is ridiculously cheap for Renars. Surprised about that. Very surprised. Okay, folks. What did we do today? Well, the cash stack hasn't really changed much. It's uh, pretty much where it was. It's because we haven't sold today's profit yet with the Renards, like I just said. We do still need to get that Dragon Mace back up for sale, actually. So I should sell this shit. I suppose I shouldn't be drawing it out right now, though. Yeah, so there's a couple of things here, but, like, they're, they're not worth very much. We've basically got the same cash stack that we had because we haven't done any money-making in particular. 
XP though, a very solid day. I mean, we did get a bunch from quests and the Night Swift grounds, but 161k in total, certainly a very respectable performance for today. We managed to get 18,000 magic XP throughout that, which is almost up to 67. We are slowly but surely getting our magic there through constant alking while we're doing whatever the hell we are doing. We've got the same hunter and farmer as we usually do and a massive 53,000 in defense thanks to the rewards from both the quest and the training grounds. We got 21k in hit points as well, huge 20k in attack, 30k in strength, and 8k in agility just from fucking around at the end there, basically. Very, very solid day. Uh, we got a hard clue done as well. I don't know how many clues we've done now, but I think that might be like the fifth. That was the third hard clue only, but we've done eight mediums hunting for those ranger boots. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty solid day. It's been a pretty solid day. We, of course, unlocked Chival Rate as well. So just to, just let, let's do a comparison of this, right? So defense by 20 rather than steel skin being 15. That goes up by 5. Strength by 18. That goes up by 3%. And attack to 15 is the exactly the same. However, having all three of these prayers on at once has a prayer drain rate of 3 Whereas just having this on has a prayer drain rate of 1.5. So it's going to be much more efficient on actually keeping our prayer points as well as better in certain regards. And when we do make the jump up to piety, that's an extra 5% strength, defense, and attack to all of them. And the prayer drain rate is still exactly the same as chivalry. So it is a straight upgrade with no downside to it. Very nice when we do eventually get there and we will be using it through raids, of course. I don't think there's much else to say, really. It was a pretty straightforward day. I'll probably be back to the melee trading tomorrow. It's hard to tell. I'll figure it out once I've actually, like, woken up because I still feel like I'm in that 22-hour sleep. I hope I actually did wake up and record this and it isn't just a fever dream. I'm sure I'll know when I hear you all in the comments being like, wow, what a great day, F the Renaweed, wow, such gains, many XP. I don't know why I'm doing a Doge thing, Doge, Doge, whatever. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.